Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for our Harmony Protocol and Crypto.com AMA. My name is Tina Baker-Taylor, and I'm the General Manager for Crypto.com in the UK, and I'm delighted to be your host today for our live stream. Launched in May 2019, Harmony is a decentralized blockchain platform designed as a bridge between scalability and decentralization. Harmony's motto is decentralization at scale, with a focus on data sharing and the creation of marketplaces for both fungible and non-fungible assets. The project endeavors to support the foundation of the future of decentralized trustless economies, focusing on delivering high throughput with low latency and low fees. It's my pleasure to be joined today by Stephen C., CEO of Harmony Protocol. Hi, Stephen. Hi, everyone. Hi. Great to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. Great to be here. Um, hello, everyone at uh, crypto.com. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for joining us. So um, start us off today. Just give us a little bit of an introduction, if you would, about yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Harmony or uh, Harmony One and the platform. Just a little mm -hmm. introduction. My pleasure. Um, my name is Stephen. I've been always in the academic research, um, coding engineering field, really understanding how to be infrastructure platform. Um, really for millions of people at big companies, um, my PhD research was actually on security protocol before going to Google Maps, building really the scaling web application at that time. Okay. Did a startup and then thinking about um, how to think about really mobile social search experience before Apple acquires to think about, wow, now we have a different platform on the mobile phone for searching location for literally at that time, immediately hundreds of millions of people. Mm -hmm. Very glad that now I can really apply the same skill, building a platform that hopefully, now that we figure out the idea that uh, all this asset, NFT, with many of the new ideas about trading, what will be the platform for the future? How many really want to serve um, the platform for millions of users thinking about what will be the future of the economy? Okay, that sounds amazing. But for people who are brand new in crypto, so crypto newbies, can you explain what the Harmony Protocol is in really simple terms? Mm. We think that Harmony now can serve, even for non-crypto people, not thinking about technology, definitely not research, to know what is the opportunity and what is the entry point into mm -hmm crypto asset and new holding of anything related to their own financial well-being, how to relate to the community. Harmony is a platform for the creator to actually connect with the community. For us, Harmony is able to, not just talking about, let's make it scale for the smart country. Mm -hmm. We want to think about how to connect all these blockchains together. For the people that don't even want to think about technology or blockchain, we want to help them, can I come to this platform and easily on board without paying crazy fees? Right. Yeah. So for them, they may have heard about Bitcoin Ethereum for sure. They want to actually create their own apps, maybe even with wherever the community to think about, hey, this is the fun arts that represent this community. Hey, this is what I need to do, you know, pay my monthly subscription to my patron, right? Harmony actually understand in the last few years of building that there are many community and blockchain already building up applications. Now mm -hmm. the question is, can I participate? Yeah, 
Indeed. So we've asked um, our community and the Harmony community to send us questions for you. Um, so we have, we have quite a few of those that have come from the community today. So if you're ready, um, let's let's kick off and, and see what the community Absolutely. wants to know. So That's the first the question way. is about Harmony, the name Harmony and mm. the ticker, which is one or O-N-E. Wow. How how did the how did you name Harmony and how did your ticker end up becoming one? Mm. Well, we didn't get as good as a domain name called Crypto.com, so <laughs> we need to settle for the second best. <laughs> um, honestly, the word Harmony has always been my, in my mind, even around the time when I learned so many cool ideas of course the Bitcoin white paper and then later on Ethereum when I started around 2017, 2018, about incubating this project. We have a bunch of like Silicon Valley friends, entrepreneurs, in particular, the ex Google groups that we think about, hey, now that we have these ideas, can we actually make everyone talk to each other? Mm -hmm. Can we create new economy that uh, everyone have different ideas, different countries, different platforms, different data silo at that mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. when I was um, working on that. AI data marketplace idea. So the word harmony literally means, can everyone work on their own thing? Well, in particular, different sharding um, technology at that time to scale, but still be able to come out with one new set. Right? Interesting. People with a background of unison versus harmony, even though we sing in different keys, it can still come out with amazing, hopefully creating wealth, creating music that we all would enjoy. One is even more special. Um, again, harmony.com is taken for some odd reasons. That we settle for the concept that literally um, one for all and all for one. And the concept of one is um, it's very strange that each of us contributes so much to the digital economy of Facebook, Google, Twitter. But very few of the economy the platform that they create is actually thinking about for one person anymore. Mm -hmm. How personalized mm -hmm. can it get? Can the economy incentives the incentives still come back coming back to one? We connect with billions of people very soon online. But then like what is the value of one digital one, digital identity? Um, we quickly gravitate to this um, bigger mission because we think over the um, next coming decades, the privacy aspect, um, the one aspect uh, of someone online digital identity will be key. Interesting. No, that's a great story. Thanks for sharing that with us. Thanks. So can you tell us a little bit more about Harmony Protocol's tokenomics? So what, mm. what purpose does one serve? Mm. I do know that uh, token economics, if not the token uh, design, um, sticking, sticking as well as uh, inflation is actually the key over long term of a platform to be viable over like decades. Um, we really took it to heart and spent almost a good six months, if not a year, learning what would be the long term sustainable fees model auctions um, for the transactions. So what we came up with is something that's very low inflation rate to about two, 3%. That will be tied to our transaction fees that we're burning. Mm -hmm. So we started with the concept that it needs to be capped at related to the transaction uh, volume. Mm -hmm. We really want to think about uh, over that case, whether it's going to be a sustainable platform for two things. Hopefully not, not abandon inflation so that um, you don't know why you will hold this asset, even in the short term. We tie it to the transaction so that we, when the network finally be able to bootstrap and to be sustainable, healthy, that they will be sustained by the transaction fees. We want it to be um, low, um, like good um, sticking when they come in, have high reward. So that's why we have about 10, close to 12% um, inflation when we started last year, Open the King. So that's what we come up with. Great. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about that staking because um, mm. you've introduced a, a new staking mechanism, Effective mm -hmm. Proof of Stake or mm -hmm. EPOS. Um, right. Why did the Harmony team choose EPOS rather than mm. you know traditional proof of stake? Why, why is it different? 
the hardest problem to solve is centralization. Mm -hmm. Hence, really, um, the trilemma should, should the hardest thing to, to keep in mind is decentralization. With sticking, it's even easier. It's very effective that when there are economic incentives, people just rush into a big wells controlling the governance. So the whole pool of stick model is the best way to innovate when you have a new platform and say, let's think harder, longer term, start over, no constraint. Everyone knows pool of work works 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. It can still work with Bitcoin, um, the last few years, but pool of stick is really the future. But then if it's just a linear model, if you just I have a bigger stake, I have more money, simple enough, but it wouldn't work very soon. To measure the number of um, number of stakes uh, for the 30, let's say 33% of the network, usually it's about five, 10 people, parties holding it. So how many come up with the concept of effective proof of stake? Because we want to make sure that the big sticker and top sticker will be capped at the top so that they are still earning very meaningful, substantial amounts, but then they won't control cent uh, a, a majority of the network to, to, to say, to, to have the full uh, vote of the majority, but also the lower sticker. We want to boost them, even though they are very low stake, they are probably even the long tail of like a thousand that they are the thousand, the number thousand of our network, but we still earn just as much as the medium stake, um, just deviation from the median stake, so that they will be incentivized to provide and earn from the network as well. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, so you mentioned earlier that uh, the connectivity or the interoperability mm -hmm. among blockchain. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. how how will or how does the ecosystem of Harmony connect? with other blockchains mm. like Avalanche or Cosmos, Ethereum, et cetera? Mm. Mm. I think the key is interoperable bridges and thinking about how to connect all these um, ecosystems instead of building walls, instead of like asking the government and say, hey, you guys should do that, right? So mm. our approach is called on-chain bridge, right? Most people actually know that network should connect. Why don't I have another um, uh, 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 custodial, if not like another network operator to like just send uh, one to another? I mean, definitely just announced, right? When you are finishing with your incentives, why don't you ask more people to help you like bring it back together? We actually have a more innovative approach. We want to think about can the bridge itself be on the chain? Can the bridge itself be part of the smart contract. So that two bridges, uh, sorry, two networks, you need to bridge one to, and one to the other. The yeah. bridge itself don't need to have a separate operator to be, be part of the network that you operate. The key architecture is smart contract bridge that are on chain that um, we figure out that is going to be much more trustless to do. The way that we have done is we have bridged to uh, Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain already. We want to bring it even more trustless on the chain, but also connect to many more networks. So we have Polkadot uh, in Testnet. We have Edgeware already taking our grants to, to build that out, but also to have um, for sure Bitcoin. There's no doubt the yeah, king that, in the room. That's the next <laughs> What yeah, to be on chain. Actual. Yeah, hopefully we we actually have also come up with uh, grants and bounties that uh, we have come up with the architecture and white paper and the research. We now we want to attract more talent to actually build it with us for more chains for more bridges. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, you talked about uh, Bitcoin is coming up soon, and some mm -hmm. of what are some of the other projects that you would like to connect to? Are they all going to be just interconnecting these layer mm -hmm. one projects, or are you looking to connect mm -hmm. to potentially some of the layer twos? Um, the answer is all of them. Okay, it's insane, right? Like just even last year, they published just handful of mainnet that people will use and talk about, mm -hmm. and that's really the amazing thing about blockchain, right? When things work, when people actually converge to the idea, and there'll be so many choices. And to focus on bridges sounds like a multitude of problem to solve, but it's yeah. the right problem. It's the right problem to solve, right? It's like back in the time you launch a website, you can't think about, oh, let me just like restrict it to certain browser or country. 
right? When you start an e-commerce site or start mobile apps, you can't just say, oh, I'm only going to serve English uh, like audience, right? Yeah. Same thing with blockchain. Your bridge cannot just talk to actually just Ethereum. Uh, we are very happy that we are uh, building a bridge to Terra. We are we are already in talk with like Celo. They have a new um, uh, light client design. It should be the focus of blockchain ecosystem, not just of Harmony. Hopefully, of everyone. Right? We keep asking, can we have more fiat networks? Can government work with us? While we don't even talk to each other yet, right? So it has been, it really has been our mission that it is about building bridges and bringing the ecosystem together. Yeah, that's very true. That's an excellent point. Um, okay, another community question is, sure. how can Harmony Protocol make being a validator easier? Mm, right, well, we really think that uh, that's the only way that keep the low costs for running a validator and helping them make money, right? But at the same time, active in the governance. So we're doing two things in particular. Our validator is already cheaper than even Ethereum 2. Cheaper yeah. to run as a node, cheaper to like stake in order to be able to start in the 30 years. Uh, any number can start, right? So that's the first thing, keeping the cost lows. Technically, there's always going to be improvement, better documentation, um, better like even of a Docker image to help them to just run it. But there are many of the humans part that we want to solve, right? We do lots of education campaign. Uh, we actually have um, a quite a few community members actively reaching out to make sure that the validator know not just about, hey, download this and start running, right? We help them on board of having even delegator uh, delegating to them. Our delegation is on chain which even right. Ethereum 2 haven't done it yet, yeah. that we felt like it's going to be a strong, strong point, right? That's everything is on chain, everything, you don't need permission, you don't need a sign up form to just start running. So the first thing is there will be always technical problem to solve. We run it even on a Raspberry, but then we want to make sure that uh, it actually very easy technical to run. But the human part is hard, right? Can the delegation be on chain? Can we have like uh, dedicated technical support for them? We're doing that. But then we just launch a even a bigger campaign. We call it DAO, just for validator to help each other building tools, incentivizing with events. We are putting one million um, in one tokens just to help that sit this DAO, not run by Harmony team or anyone related to us, but the validator themselves having specific fund, but also a community that both for the governance to help each other. Yeah. Um, okay, another uh, community question. I think it's probably from mm -hmm. the crypto.com community. Will mm -hmm. there be staking available on crypto.com app? Yes, please do. <laughs> we really loved crypto.com, especially that back in the time we were launching Binance IEO, quickly be able to integrate with us. Native, native token really key for us to help the whole ecosystem. The great thing is crypto.com both help with native asset, ERC20 asset, Binance, smart chain concept, right? The mm -hmm. really big piece would be actually the sticking and the earn and many of the campaigns that would love to engage more stick.com. We we think that uh, incentivized campaigns like sticking as well as earn and uh, learn, learn and earn will be a really key thing to work with partners, incentivize both communities. Yeah, indeed. Um, okay, so Harmony contains a beacon chain and multiple mm -hmm. shard chains. Can mm. you explain what these two chains are in simple mm. words? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Right. There's so much to learn, even Ethereum and now Ethereum 2. And now Harmony, uh, honestly, learning a lot about both sticking, sharding, and now on-chain bridges. It's really key concept uh, for technical people, but also for um, just people new to blockchain to understand one of these things is why does it matter to me? Is it going to be secure? Is it yeah. going to be the future? In particular, the concept of uh, beacon um, chain and then sharded uh, uh, chain is going to be a key thing to understand one concept. With decentralization already, I promise you that we have like large number of validators, but how do you scale? Mm -hmm. Most people actually figure out new things, new product, hey, here's my community, here's my product, try it, right? But they don't think about the future of like, when I get my customers, how do I would be able to serve all of them. And we have to think about millions of users because uh, you don't want to launch a website today that thinking about just a few thousand people seeing this website, you don't want to get a slash dot effect. 
Not getting the slash dot effect is why we have something called shards and beacon chain. So in Harmony, beacon chain is also just one shard, just some of the validators and some of the node. But it's actually anyone being in the beacon chain, just only special in one thing. They will be able to say, hey, here's the people that want to join the entire network, meaning you want to sign up as a validator. Here's the people that want to be delegating to this validator, which is on-chain delegating delegation, that's what the beacon chain do. Be able to validate the validator, delegator, and what are all these uh, shards doing. All these shards will be very busy processing different applications, handling all accounts, dividing all the users into different states, and mixing up all these validators so they don't maliciously take your asset. That's it. OK. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this question is a little bit of a future focus question in the sure. development uh, pipeline. So what is the time frame in which you expect to make Harmony completely usable in mm. any of the available wallets? Kind of a big question. Mm. Wow, uh, let's start with crypto.com again. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. A um, few years ago, many projects still fully focus on getting on exchanges, right? I think last year taught us that there are many going to be like decentralized exchange that people can just easily jump on. But then quickly, it really become an incentivized um, uh, uh, pools, right? So it's not just about available everywhere. So we are, as a matter of fact, we are on as many major exchange as, it, as we can in the uh, two, three years of time frame. But that's not enough. So we have been working with um, not just crypto.com, but thinking about what are different regions of wallets, as well as uh, pools, stacks. We have been. We even have ERC20 back in some of these, like uh, Swissy Swap, uh, Uniswap, as well as Pancake Swap. But I think the key question for them is like, can we use all this strategy to drive more adoption through different communities? Mm -hmm. Again, that's why going back to crypto.com, right? We have been partnering for two years, but can there be sticking campaigns, right? With um, with the question particularly asked is, can there be more exchanges? Can there be more campaigns? Is what also we are uh, like really driving even this year. Exciting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, kind of looking um, a little bit at some of the hype that's happening in the industry at the mm. moment, mm. what developments can the Harmony community expect in the world mm. of NFTs? Mm. NFT is a great story. We don't need more hype anymore. Even like Saturday Night Lives are talking about it. Even like yeah. government are just going to be regular and say, let's do it together, uh, both uh, our regional friends in India, China, everyone's already doing it. I don't think we need more hype. Actually, as a matter of platform, we just need to serve the customers. Then. As a matter of fact, our NFT marketplace, the artists don't ask us, can we hire you out? Can we like launch a uh, like million dollar campaigns? They actually don't need that. They ask us for specific tools. They ask us, does it work? They ask, show us like who are the people on this platform that actually not just buy, but will engage with us. So in particular, <laughs> having like, having great auction, editorial, launch campaign, is going to be so important for their artists. They don't want to deal with even MetaMask. They need credit card integration right away, right? Just like uh, Crypto.com, for understanding integration, Fiat, is a key to adoption. That's the reason why NBA Top Shot, I think 60% of the sales, if not even more, are coming from uh, like not MetaMask, non-crypto people. Uh -huh. So that's what we serve. We want to serve more artists. We want to give them the tools and the community. And the key thing that uh, Harmony is going to differentiate is we're going to bring all the cross chain, uh, all the NFT be able to work with the cross chain. That's why we emphasize bridges. That's why we want to be able to bring, hopefully, flow.com, hopefully, um, hopefully, any uh, chains I said. Because as a matter of fact, many, many artists are jumping on different platforms. It will yeah. be the case for many years. How to bridge them together will be the key infrastructure that we, we build. Yeah, indeed. I think that's a really interesting development that mm -hmm. um, we, we probably do need to spend mm -hmm. some some serious time considering now. Mm -hmm. You know, there's mm -hmm. lots of different NFT platforms and I think mm -hmm. you know, they cater to a different audience or they mm -hmm. have a certain kind of focus around the types of artists that they work with. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, at some point, kind of similar to the conversation mm -hmm. 
we had a few years ago around security tokens, then mm -hmm. what, right? These, mm -hmm. these assets need to, they're, they're, you know, they need to move, be able to move around, right? And exactly. it's like bridges would be a great way to be able to mm -hmm. interoperate between those two platforms. Exactly the key. Um, we were thinking about so much about tokens a few years ago, right? We oh, barely yeah. able to transfer asset decentralized way onto right. it DEX now beyond Uniswap, right? Uniswap is just ERC20 asset. So you guys thinking about security tokens, thinking about which wallet, which website will be able to show all this beautiful NFT I collect. How does it represent my digital identity? Can I tie to a domain names? When I show up on a uh, like virtual event, can I use any of the um, uh, NFT art pieces to decorate, but also represent my profile image. Can I select, do I have privacy protection when I choose one of the other? It's going to be so much more middle where infrastructure to build before it can really become a metaverse. Yeah, I agree. I think there's a lot of innovation to come in that space. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we have some community related questions. Mm -hmm. sure. um, the first is, have you considered some form of student discount for your mm. product? Mm. Which product? <laughs> <laughs> I love to get to know them to see like what which what which students which product they would use right away. I think the answer is yes. Um, so we have been doing lots of um, hackathons just around university uh, 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 programs. I think students, uh, there are really three segments, right? There are people that are already using crypto. They just really want to bridge around and really have fast trading. And there are people uh, technical and they are just like uh, getting into crypto and want to build something. But the future is students, right? So we spend lots of uh, campaigns with the university band as well as um, uh, validated programs with these. But this kind is just one way. We actually even have bounties, right, both on the community and marketing side, but also on technical side that students are really feel free to jump on. So we have $10,000 to $50,000. Get with our friends, make it a semester project. We'd love to mentor you. Awesome. All right, guys, mm -hmm. you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is, what is uh, Harmony's strategy to attract new users mm -hmm. and investors mm -hmm. um, and to keep them long term? Mm. I think long-term investors have a lot to uh, gravitate towards the community that they believe, mm. right? Um, honestly, at the end of the day, blockchain is capturing um, the human values and the future that they believe, the vision, the roadmap. I do think that investors these days have lots of choices, but many mm. of them still stay with Harmony. I would like to tell them why here is we are a team of infrastructure builder that truly believe that uh, this community see a lot of this, this is the right architecture, this is the right mission to back. We believe in social impacts very soon with the technology that we build. For them to stay, there's a strong reason that they are not just holding and buying token and speculating, but they can stake um, to be part of the governance and earning the yields. They will use it on our product. We're really coming with lots of on-chain bridge, on-chain middlewares for wallet to support. So that there'll be API for cross-chain aggregator that they believe that the future is cross-chain. They believe that Harmony has a technology to enable much more of product to come. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, partnerships. So let's talk mm. a little bit about partnerships. Um, mm -hmm. One question is around U.S. partnerships are something mm -hmm. that um, we haven't heard too much about with Harmony. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Do you have any future plans to mm -hmm. uh, expand more with U.S.-based partners? Mm -hmm. I think partnership is also some uh, team that core team must focus. Um, we have been a very user uh, like for a US focused um, or center team, um, many of our engineers are in Silicon Valley. At mm -hmm. the same time, we have been looking in Indonesia, India for the partnership, but US partnership in the financial space is very different. Mm -hmm. I think finally this year, there's a lot opening about the NFT space. Um, we do work with international artists, but also US uh, musicians in particular. I think partnership at the level is also what uh, expect of a, a big team like us to work with even uh, local government, um, traditional, if not like big tech companies um, uh, integrations. We do believe that uh, this year will be more opening. We've been working hard with uh, really long-term um, 
hopefully some Silicon Valley partnership. We do also believe that there are the decentralized approach, approach to partnership that uh, whether sushi as well as um, um, uh, some of these projects that open governance will build work. We'll come up with some plan that will both work on both side. that mm -hmm. the corporate partnership in US is always going to be pushed by a core team. And there'll be much more possible if we put out the incentives out in even a DAO to make partnership happen. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's take a look toward the future. Um, mm -hmm. Long term, where do you see um, one being able to impact a market that mm -hmm. they're not impacting today? So, you know, looking mm -hmm. down the road, where do you mm -hmm. see one or I would say and Harmony being able to mm -hmm. uh, either disrupt or enable mm -hmm. um, a market mm -hmm. where you're not currently um, mm -hmm. focused? It's such a subtle question, huh? Impact of market, but not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love, I love, I love to decipher, uh, like so that I, I get this question right. I, I think, I think it's true that um, how many must be the top project to showcase, right? We have showcasing it as more uh, uh, for sure as a scalable state, state sharding, as well as a uh, pluralistic network. The next to show are two things. Uh, that we are interconnecting all the blockchains. So we must showcase this so the market recognizes we're the leader in a few things, right? That yeah. we have on-chain bridge so that people can people can trust the architecture but not trust the bridge, right? Mm -hmm. That we know it's going to be a trustless bridge. Second thing we want to drive is adoption. We want to build a cross-chain API so that many of this wallet, as well as um, uh, people developing um, like uh, different DeFi application, uh, NFT application, can aggregate the RPs, but also aggregate the liquidity. OK, so um, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. So for sure. the, a potential future where we mm -hmm. have um, different uh, protocols that are designed to do different things, and mm -hmm. have the ability to connect to them via all of these bridges that you know mm -hmm. are inbuilt and, and very organic in the way they operate. Mm -hmm. it, envision that future and mm -hmm. outside of kind of finance and, and decentralized finance and NFTs, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. do you see the biggest opportunity um, mm -hmm. for other um, segments or sectors? that mm -hmm. potentially blockchain might be operating in today, but is limited mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the lack of bridges. So mm -hmm. you know, maybe mm -hmm. healthcare or mobility <laughs> or I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you already excluded like uh, DeFi, finance, NFT. Um, I, I actually think that uh, it's uh, the few years ago, when everyone's doing ICO as well as starting blockchain for the first time, there are really millions of ideas. Actually, all of them are good. They're just not ready. Right. I think your question is like, are there NFT people know CryptoKitties? Finally, it's ready, right? What can be ready this year is very interesting. And what can be ready next year is just as interesting, right? And you ask, right, people finally recognize DeFi, finally recognize NFT. What will be the market breakout to have the market product fit? Hopefully with a million users, right? Just like Crypto.com, image on tens of million users. What would be, where will be the next 10 of million users coming in? To me, it's actually digital identity. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, it's like it's so personal. Yeah. It is so personal and it's critical, I think, to mm -hmm. achieving some of the mm -hmm. other, you know, blockchain promises around mm -hmm. financial mm -hmm. inclusion, for example. If mm -hmm. you don't have good digital ID, you're not really mm -hmm. going to solve some of the financial inclusion challenges that we have, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Of course, it's a very cut. Uh, cross-cutting problem, right? Mm -hmm. You have to deal with maybe KYC. Maybe you have to deal with different multiple profiles. Some are anonymous, some are work-related, some is personal, some for fun, and you have different trading portfolios. Now all the crypto fund, everyone can see their trading profile. We couldn't even figure basic transaction privacy problem. But coming back to here, who are you digitally online? Definitely, mm -hmm. now that you have incentives, now tied to a, a, a transaction that you've done, like, uh, before, how would government want to audit it? There are lots of technical infrastructure problems to solve, but you're right. It's a product problem. When I come online, I immediately 
actually want to think about, especially when you say it's going to be immutable forever, right? Who are you going to be uh, representing yourself? Time back to this piece. Can I have a domain names? So that, that's actually what always started, right? If people remember 20 years ago, everyone just wanted great domain names and it become a million dollars and like trillion dollar, uh, well, maybe not trillion, at least a $10 billion uh, business. So crypt, both crypto domains, meaning ENS as well as unstoppable domains, handshake and all that, but also traditional internet domains, all tied back together, right? You want, again, crypto and internet and traditional names and all the way to government identity and NFT uh, like picture representing me all to work together. Well, and I think you raised an interesting question around mm -hmm. your digital identity that you might mm -hmm. have or, or your persona um, mm -hmm. that you have in a business environment versus mm -hmm. a personal environment versus your trading mm -hmm. activity. Um, mm -hmm. And today, with, with different unintegrated ecosystems, mm -hmm. right, we mm -hmm. can kind of have the persona that we want mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. each of those, in each of those environments, right? Mm -hmm. um, but what's the privacy factor that mm -hmm. potentially needs to be solved if you're going to have, mm -hmm. you know, a, a more fungible digital ID mm -hmm. of me as a whole person? Does that create exactly. privacy challenges? Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about even the basic things, right? Does a product or a wallet or exchange allow me to switch different views, multiple or sub accounts, right? It's, it's so easy to mess up too, right? Sometimes you just, oh, right, this is a easy piece. Let me just click, right? It's just like uh, if you have multiple Twitter profiles, sometimes you say the wrong thing or type in the wrong thing in the iMessage yeah. chat. Yeah. But then. The other way to real privacy of gov like compliance, if not government ID, even harder, right? Where is the tax going to send, right? Your accountant, every year of this time, everyone is going crazy about even mixing up and then like, separating the model transaction. But the privacy part come, come back to a few key innovation. They call it auditable privacy, right? That different parties, external, would have ability to both audit or review certain part of the transaction, even though the transaction are on our blockchain and all blockchain are interconnected. All powerful FBI would be able to see everything. I don't know how with the endpoints, but even of a like your accountant don't need to see like the specific, let's mm -hmm. say, amount, right? If it's under certain threshold, your bank account need to verify that you have certain amount of asset, your work related stuff should be separate out, but they build a control in and out of the sum. Uh, that's just on the transaction side. Right. Mm -hmm. On the NFT side, like which don't you some people own multiple emails, uh, even phone numbers, but also multiple domains, right? How do you even manage them? What would be the payroll for corporate uh, billing when you have to send out like to hundreds of employees all over the world uh, with yeah. different identity? It's gonna be key. Interesting. Great. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the roadmap for Harmony. Mm -hmm. um, are mm -hmm. there any uh, announcements or what, what should we be excited about um, in mm -hmm. 2021? And, we, and mm -hmm. what the future plans are behind that. Sure. We want to work with crypto.com. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, I, I do think that <laughs> problem solved, right? Yes, right here. Um, I, I, I don't think it like Crypto.com really started uh, with obviously a domain, but also crypto as a Bitcoin, but thinking about the purchase exchange and quickly about different uh, native asset and now with credit card and all that is the future of uh, blockchain. When we say we want to work Crypto.com, not just about listing, about tokens, but also thinking about like sticking campaigns and user campaigns and marketing campaigns of any product that whether NFT artists or what we have. And when I say Crypto.com, I also see that as a portal for adoption. Right. And Harmony has to think just as much for 2000 adoption without driving a million user to a platform. We're still solving a technology problem, which have been, we've been solving, which we are an infrastructure builder, which we believe that's really the value of the future come in. But then there must be validation and adoption of a million users. So when I say crypto.com, I literally meant that there has to be about middlewares that uh, hopefully crypto.com will be part of, part of our consortium or using our API to help us validate does native crypto non-custodial uh, uh, way of holding different uh, NFT and cross-chain mm -hmm. NFT make sense to partner like crypto.com that we want to be part of. 
In particular, I announced just last week that that level of cross-chain API for aggregation for on-chain uh, bridges, we really want to bring our partners in, in the ecosystem that we can be part of. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I, uh, I I will pass it up the chain. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, Stephen, thank you so much for joining us today. I really enjoyed our chat. It was great um, to spend some time with you, and thanks for humoring me on my my questions. <laughs> Not at all. The pleasure is all mine. I, I do really think that you guys have the best perspective about users, about like product that are user facing. You guys are dealing with for sure. Uh, marketing to drive these users. We, I'm a big follower of your uh, like Twitter campaigns. We do know that uh, the world is actually uh, still haven't really heard about right many of the opportunities. We want to drive uh, a wallet product that actually give out 20% APR. Isn't that possible on like, on DeFi now that still literally billions of people haven't heard of? Yeah, right? I mean, I think it's definitely <laughs> possible. For sure. Yeah, so so that's why like whether like many of the Twitter campaign that really just giving out emoji as well as uh, memes is the best way. So we would love to be um, starting from today, really work closely together. Well, fantastic. So um, before we wrap up, um, is there anything else that you would like to say? Um, we've got a number mm -hmm. of uh, Harmony community members with us mm -hmm. today as well. Um, yeah. Not dot com. So, um, you yeah. know, what do you say to the troops? Yeah, let's do it together. We're going to have a crypto domains um, giveaway as well. So be part of the whole launch campaign that uh, this is a strong community together. Awesome. Well, I'd like to thank our audience for joining us today as well. Mm -hmm. um, and if your question was asked during our AMA, mm -hmm. then you may have won a share of the one prize pool. Uh, so mm -hmm. if you have, your prize will be deposited in your app within 14 days. So look out for that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Stephen, the uh, the community can follow you on Twitter at STSE. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Exactly. Follow and my um, Twitter and make them as many as uh, crypto.com. Well, we'll get you some more. Um, and, <laughs> and follow Harmony Protocol at, at Harmony Protocol. Well, thank you again, Tiana. Um, thank you and, very much. Uh, thank you again for hosting. It was fantastic to see you. All right. See you, see you soon. You. And uh, to the audience, see you next time.